Now today we're looking at the iStorage Disk Ashore 2. It's not in the box. Jeez. Hey, <laughs> there it is. Luckily, this thing is shock absorbent. So uh, what we have here is something I think all you guys are gonna like. Where's my coffee? Do not throw my coffee. Some military grade encryption on a hard drive up to five terabytes. Uh, and I think this is something that our, that our audience would really like. When they offered to send this over, I took a look at it and I was like, well, of course we'd like to play with this. They sent it in this strange green, co green color. You, you told them to send the least likely color, right? Yeah. The least likely color that you would expect electronics in. And they sent us this cool kind of green. It's not exactly military green. Different color options right here. You can see we got uh, fiery red and we got uh, phantom black. They all need a modifier. Adjectives are good. Racing green, that's what we've got. And ocean blue. Let's just uh, go ahead and talk about some of the features of this. First off, 256-bit encryption. They call it uh, military grade. Uh, and this thing has a large keypad on it. Your passwords on this or your pins must be seven to 15 digits. So they're already forcing you uh, to be somewhat secure. Above and beyond that, really nice build quality. I mean, the shock absorption. A uh, USB 3.1 cable here, it's nice and small. Um, it would have been nice to have a little bit longer of a cable, but this is just too nice to really complain too much about. So as far as the other encryption goes, uh, you've got uh, Edge, which is enhanced dual generating encryption technology. If you're a you know, cryptologist or someone who's really into stuff, you'll know what all that means. But basically this thing's gonna be nearly impossible to hack unless you keep your password as the default. That's the stupidest combination I ever heard in my life. That's the kind of thing an idiot would have on his luggage. Now let's talk about setting passwords and that sort of thing. So as the admin, uh, the first time you use it, you just put in a basic password and then you can get in there. You actually can do more than just set passwords. You can set up like a kill switch. Uh, they have, they call the self-destruct feature where you can type a code and it'll self-destruct. So as in like, it's not gonna like, we're not talking like spy movie here where it's like doot 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 and you like hand it to someone and like boom, or you like throw it. It doesn't self-destruct, it basically just formats everything on in there, just erases everything clean and resets all of the settings of the device uh, like your your pens and passwords and just everything like that is all going to be uh, reset. There is also a brute force, uh, I guess, some brute force protection here. So if you enter your passphrase wrong or incorrectly five times, well, you got to unplug it, plug it back in. Do it five more times, it's like, yeah, yeah, now you're in trouble. You are gonna have to unplug it, plug it back in, hold down the shift button, then uh, enter your admin password. If you mess that up five times, well, it just assumes that the drive is under attack and it goes ahead and formats it up for you. Do not forget your password, but that's a really nice feature if someone gets their hands on this and tries to, to mess with it, they're only gonna be able to do it a few times. And then the drive knows, hey, I'm under attack. Speaking of under attack, a lot of you guys are already at home, I'm gonna hear the keyboards like, all you have to do is just open that simple little case right there and then just plug it into a standard port. I heard you, and they heard you too. This is made out of some nearly indestructible material uh, they call it like a tamper-proof design. So there's like this super tough epoxy resin uh, in between the case here and the actual drive on the inside. Now, getting that epoxy resin off of here so that you can actually get the data off the drive is so close to impossible that you're more likely to damage or destroy the drive than you are to get the data off of here. And that's not saying that somebody with, you know, uh, Russian ex-Soviet spies and stuff couldn't get their hands on this and figure it out. That's one thing I, I they, they use the word almost. It's the only place in here that's like, or they say virtually impossible. Virtually impossible means maybe zero, 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 one percent someone's gonna be able to figure this out, but that's, uh, it, it's a very, very, very low, low chance. However, if you're trying to keep data from the CIA, what are you doing with your life, man? Then maybe that's the only way I could say like, that's worrisome, but otherwise it's pretty solid and secure. Now here's my favorite thing about this. You got your admin pin and you've got all your sensitive data on there. Like you've got, we've got stuff from our video game or some super secret files about how we're building a base at the center of the earth, right? Or whatever. Tell them that. Oh, oh, I've said it out loud. So you want to give this to somebody else, but well, you can set up um, pens that do not have full admin access. Uh, and you can set those up with some very simple methods. You just uh, tell it how many digits the pin has to have uh, and then whether or not the pin has to have a special character. So I mentioned a special character. Now, now check this out. This is also really cool. So you can set up your, your pin number on here with a special character. And you're like, okay, you got these special characters here. You can hit these special characters by holding down the shift button on the bottom and then pressing the button corresponding with your special character. So not only do you have just the numbers on here, but you can add the special characters. For most people to pick this thing up, if you have a special character in your uh, password, they're done. They're never gonna figure that out. That's just one special character and it's done. The, the, that's the end of it. Uh, next up on the, f the feature list, it's got an auto lock. So 
One of the other things that could really mess you up is if you plug this in, you unlock it, and you walk away from your computer. Well, you can set up an auto lock feature so that it uh, it knows, hey, you're, you're gone. I'm gonna go ahead and lock down and you can change the intervals. So first off, five minutes. If you don't mess with the drive in five minutes, no access, uh, you'll have to do your pin number to get back in. You can set it up, that's the lowest. And then the highest is 99 minutes. So the auto lock feature is pretty cool. I think I'm gonna set mine on like 10 or 15, uh, just so I don't have to, if I'm riding to the driver or something, I don't have to be like, oh, I'm gonna put my password in again. But, but five minutes is really handy, especially if you're taking this thing around in public and plug it into strange computers in strange places. All right, as far as capacity goes, yeah, we need a lot of capacity these days. And uh, luckily this thing can store quite a bit, up to five terabytes for a nice two and a half inch form factor. I mean, well, it's a little bit bigger than two and a half inch, but the drive inside is gonna be a two and a half inch. So that's nice, good size. 500 gigabytes is the uh, the bottom line. Then you can go one terabyte all the way up to five terabytes in one terabyte increments. So there you go. This is something I think uh, we're really gonna have a lot of fun using. And it kind of encourages me to get some stuff that matters enough to be secret. But if you're someone out there who's dealing with sensitive data, and I'm even thinking about like doctors, psychologists, and stuff like that who have sensitive data they need to give to their patients. You know, one of these, with the amount of money you guys are making, <laughs> you guys should get a bunch of these and start handing them out to your patients and being like, here's where we keep your data. I don't know, it's just a crazy idea, but there's a lot of different application applications. Uh, guys, in the comments, let me know what you're gonna do when you get one of these, uh, what you're gonna use it for, and, uh, yeah, just answer it on the forum or on the, in the comments. Get this t-shirt. He's always watching you guys. So I, I better be out of here. See you guys in the comments.